This is a detail that a lot of people don't understand and it's how a roof is finished off at the edge. In, in this case, this is a barge, that's the end of the roof, and that's the fascia at the end. And in the old days, they used to put a strip of fibro in there, put the bedding on, sit the tiles in, and then come back and do the pointing, like that. So there wasn't a metal Z flashing in the old days, just the fibro. And what happened is that when you do get cracking there and the water seeps in onto the bedding, it'll go on top of the fibro, and then because the fibro has got a free edge and it sometimes drips backwards, a lot of water goes off the fibro and then it goes into your roof. So you get a leak along the edge of the roof. So we're going to look at a typical barge here. So this is a Swiss tile roof. So we're looking at the barge, it's been pointed and it's just been pointed over the fibro. So if you take a few tiles out just to see where the leak's coming from, if you get closer to the edge, you'll see that as we lift the tiles up, that's where the water's getting in through the crack on the bedding. There's a fibro strip you can see just underneath that. And if you look underneath, you see the fibro strip with the bedding that's looking under the tiles. You can see that the, uh, the fibro strip and the bedding, and here we are, so the bedding, fibro strip, and we got a leak. So this is another roof where we've taken the tiles off. And you can see that there are a couple of issues because the fibro strip will need to be lapped because they come in certain lengths and wherever it's lapped, it's not actually lapped, it's just butted together. And which means that when water runs down the upstream fibro strip, it goes into the gap and it doesn't continue. And that's where you get a lot of water coming in where there's a, a butt joint on the fibro strip. So as you can see from these images, you can get a substantial amount of water come in at the barges. And this is what we find when we look at the old style barges where the tiles are just bedded straight onto the fibro strip. Nowadays we always use a Z flashing. The reason it's a Z flashing is shaped like a Z. It goes up a little leg, across, and there's a little hook that comes up. And the reason for that is any water that drips off the fibro strip will get caught by the hook and it will be ran down the Z flashing until it gets to the gutter and you don't get a leak in. Now one question is why do we still persist with putting a fibro strip on top of the metal Z flashing? And this is because metal is quite slippery so if you put a Z flashing on and then you put your bedding on top, the bedding will just slide off the roof, you just can't hold it in place. And that's the reason why we still use the fibro strip. We lay it on top of the Z flashing and then we bed on top of the fibro strip. The bedding does not slip off the fibro. And we have the and now we have the added protection of the Z flashing. And the Z flashing actually provides two benefits. First, the little hook that's buried under the tile roof will catch any water that runs inwards towards the roof and drain it out into the gutter. The other advantage is that the other leg of the Z actually covers a little bit of the top edge of the fascia. And what this does is it prevents moisture from getting to the top of the fascia and causing rotting of the fascia timber. And that's the reason why we use Z flashings whenever we bed and point a gable. And it actually shows that we can actually innovate and make some positive progress in the roofing industry.